Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Foundations where today we're going to be talking about the three D's of delegation so you can start focusing on the most important task in your business. All right, welcome back guys. Let's get right into it. Delegation is going to be the way that you grow your business. If you can't start delegating the task that is taking all your time and not really moving the needle in your business, you're not going to be able to grow. I see a lot of business owners every single day that ask like, hey, so how do I do this? How do I do that? How can I start giving away these tasks? And when it comes to actually doing it, either the execution falls off or they just don't end up doing it because they're afraid of giving up control in their business. If you are the bottleneck in your company, you are strangling it and not allowing it to grow. If you feel like you're the only one that can get these things done, then your business cannot get the oxygen it needs so it can go bigger and better than what you currently have, right? So let's talk about the three D's of delegation and how important they are. The first one, the first D of delegation is to define, right? Pretty simple, pretty basic, but what does that actually mean? defining what you want to delegate. I always recommend maybe starting with just a handful of things that you're doing every single week that isn't really moving the needle, right? So if you're, you're, you're focusing on sales, right? Sales brings in the business, brings in revenue, but you're caught up doing the back end stuff, right? Doing, uh, calling clients to make sure they're getting their order and you're fulfilling on your agreements, right? Or maybe you're spending too much time on data or checking emails or doing spreadsheets, like so much stuff that isn't growing your business. What are those things? So start with just a handful of them and then just pick one, one thing that you can delegate next week that's going to start freeing up your time. And what it does, it starts giving you the freedom so you can start focusing on those higher level activities. So you got to define it. What is it that you want to delegate, right? Write it down. What is that one thing? And then coming to number two, the second D of delegation is you must demonstrate, right? So if you want someone to do this thing, if you want them to do it for you, you have to demonstrate yourself doing it first, right? So look, you probably already have your own system. You probably have your own way of organizing your emails or organizing your data on the spreadsheet or organizing how you have entry level conversations with someone who calls into your business and wants to work with you. Whatever your business might be, you have to demonstrate what you're doing that's taking so much of your time before you can delegate it to someone, right? But by demonstrating it, you can then go down to the third D, right? Which is document, right? Document, okay? So you defined it. You found the thing that you want to delegate. You've now demonstrated it. I recommend using videos, QuickTime, uh, Zoom, Loom, whatever tool you want to use, especially in this virtual environment. And if you're using a virtual assistant, screen recordings are going to be your best friend. So demonstrate yourself doing the task, okay? And then you must document. The last one is very, very important. How, is, like, how are your results? What is actually happening in your business? Are, are they doing the things that you demonstrated? Are, are, did you clearly define it? Like what are the results that's happening and how can you make it better? The reality is no one's gonna be as good as you. No one is gonna be, no one's gonna care more about your business than you care about it. You are the company owner. Don't expect people to work as hard as you. But you must understand, if you're gonna to wanna to start, if you wanna grow your business, you need to put people in a position that maybe they're a six out of 10, maybe they're a seven out of 10, but for in order your business to grow, you have to give them the task and the freedom to mess up so they can eventually become a 10 out of 10 and take over that task completely. We all gotta start somewhere and you, you monitor this stuff, you track this stuff by documenting it, right? And if you're not getting the results you want and it's not happening the way you want it to happen, maybe you should go back to the define stage. Maybe you didn't do a good job defining it, or maybe you should do a better job demonstrating it, right? But we only know that by what happens in the documentation phase. So guys, there is a clear framework when it comes to delegating things in your business. You must start by number one, defining. Second thing, you demonstrate yourself doing it. And third, you document the results. If you can follow this framework for every single thing that you're doing that's not growing your business, or maybe someone else is doing and they're not effective, start here find the results, document the results, and then you can decide where we're gonna go, right? What are more tasks you can delegate? And if you can do these things effectively, your business is gonna grow without a doubt. So start here, guys. I want you to comment below, what do you think? If you haven't hired a virtual assistant yet, go to vahub.com, book a discovery call with our team, and we'll be happy to help and show you how we 
can help you start delegating these tasks by using skilled, affordable labor. That's what we do at VAHub.com. Obviously, I'm a big believer in it because my entire organization and all of my businesses are ran by virtual assistants. It's a great place to start, guys. But before you can give this to a virtual assistant, this is your job. This is where you start. So guys, comment below on your thoughts, what you want to see. If you have any questions, I will promise I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Check out VAHub.com, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.